Now to this morning's Rodeo Roundup. We are talking life on the rodeo circuit. It is a life Fred Whitfield knows all too well. He'll soon be inducted into the Texas Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame. He's an eight-time world champion calf roper and also participates in the American Quarter Horse, Quarter, Horse, Quarter Horse Association competitions. Whitfield has already shown off his skills at Rodeo Houston this year. So here to talk more about the life of a rodeo cowboy is Fred Whitfield. How Good are morning you? to you. I'm fine. Let me start by saying congratulations. Thank you. And what is it like? What do you have to do to be inducted into the Hall of Fame like this? Well, uh, first of all, I've been professional rodeoing for about the last 23 years. And uh, I've had quite a bit of success over the years. And I guess through my peers that, you know, they, they uh, realized that, that I think I've accomplished enough to be inducted. The Texas Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame is not the only Hall of Fame you're part of, right? No, ma'am. There's the, the Professional Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame in, in Colorado Springs. There's the uh, Cowboy Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City. And then there's also another Hall of Fame that's in Fort Worth. So I pretty much covered that this will be the fourth one. And you said you've been doing this 23 years. 23 what years is life like on the road for you? Well, it, it's a pretty rigorous schedule. You know, I, I haven't traveled a lot the last couple of years, but I'm off to a pretty good start this year, and I've got about 18,001 in the PRCA. I'm ranked fifth in the world. And uh, the last couple of years, I've been home training some horses, and I've got a couple of really nice ones going that I'm going to try, you know, to take out on the road this year. And, you know, being a cowboy and being able to, to actually compete on a horse that you raised and trained, that's taking it to the next level. And we often see you just for a couple of weeks out of the year, so many of us here in Houston, here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, but it really is, it's a lifestyle and it takes you year round. What it, it is, our season lasts about uh, seven and a half months and it starts uh, mid-January and runs through towards the end of uh, September. So I. You know, if I decide to take off and rodeo this year, I could be gone about four and a half months away from home. It's quite the commitment. Now, you compete with the American Quarter Horse Association. What is special about that? Well, they have a, it's just like a world championship, just like going to the national finals in Las Vegas, but their championships in Oklahoma City. And you have to kind of travel around to certain shows to qualify your horse for the, for the uh, finals in uh, late November. So exactly how many rodeos are you competing in over the course of the year? Oh, I could go from anywhere to from about 75 to 95 rodeos a year. That's if I des decide to go all year long. So you're doing this. You've made a life commitment out of it. And what is it like to be recognized in so many ways? Well, it, it's overwhelming, you know, and I'm, I'm 44 years old this year, you know, and so I've been doing it for quite a long time. So, uh, you know, everywhere I go, people recognize, you know, my face because I've been around so long. But, uh, you know, it, it still gives me goosebumps when I'm back in there and there's seven, eight, ten thousand people screaming, you know, wanting me to do competing at the best of my ability. Where can we see you at the Houston Radio? Uh, I'm going to be at the Quarter Horse Show this morning at about uh, 9.15. I'm going to compete there again. And then I'm just going to go out and take, take in some of the shows. I actually competed the first uh, Super Series over at Houston but didn't advance. Had a chance, had some bad luck. It's just part of it. But I'll be around there the next few days. I've got some commitments with sponsors. As you very well see, Cinch, Rocky Mountain's one of my biggest sponsors, and Perry Equine. So I'm going to be around the Reliance Center doing some stuff as far as, you know, obligations go, but not competing until next year, hopefully. Continued success to you. Thank you for coming in this Thank morning. You.